Hello. All right. Well, first of all, guys, I'm very sorry for starting late. I'm not really sure where to look because I put it in landscape for the first time. So I think I'm looking over here. Anyway, uh, sorry for being a little bit late. Um, it took me a while to set up for the workout. And um, sorry for not really sure how to do the landscape. But you know what? The best way for me to learn is just to go in and try and figure out what works and what doesn't and then fix it next time. So quick little intro. I'm going to be doing these Facebook Lives with a live workout once a week or more, every week in November. These will be really quick, um, 15 minutes or less, including the warm-up. And the idea is that you can do them wherever you are during lunchtime. So if you're at work and if you're gutsy enough to go for it, you can honestly do these right at your desk. That's that straightforward. Um, but they're also going to be super effective. Uh, you're definitely going to see the me metabolic effect afterwards, meaning it's going to help you burn calories day in and day out, which is going to be helpful because we're getting into holiday season, right? Uh, we have more treats coming along the way. We're going to have less time to get in our formal workouts. So the idea here is that you have something quick, easy to get to, um, but still effective to get you through the holiday season. All right, so let's go ahead and get started because time is clicking. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with our warm up. Again, I'm going to try to figure out my positioning here. Apologies for it not being perfect, but you guys know how I feel about that progress on perfection. All right, guys. Um, also, just as a note, if you weren't aware, I broke my toe about a month ago. It's a lot better right now, but I may have to modify and I will be providing um, var variations and modifications for you guys as well. And that's just a good lesson that, you know, life happens and we don't have to stop. We can just modify as we go. All right, so let's warm up. You're gonna take a squat stance with your feet. I wish you guys could see it here but it's about shoulder width or so. Uh, your toes may turn out towards the corners of the room just slightly. Um, and everybody's squat stance is gonna be a little bit different. So find what works for you. Then you're gonna bring your hips back and down, grab onto your toes and pull your hips down low with a nice long spine. All right. And then you're gonna stretch out your hamstrings, let your he head just hang, exhale, stretch it out. It's okay if in the beginning your knees are a little bit bent. That's usually the case for me. Pull the hips down, back flat, shoulders away from the ears, use the elbows into the knees to help you get some leverage, and exhale, stretch it out. We're gonna do three more for a total of five. Go at your own pace here. Inhale down here, exhale out. Try to keep the heels down as you're squatting. If your heels are popping up, try to adjust your stance. And as you get warmed up, maybe your legs get a little bit straighter, maybe your hips get a little bit deeper. All right, so we're gonna keep doing the squat stand-up, but we're gonna add a rotation. So now that we're down at the bottom of the squat, push the elbow into the knee, and then rotate with a nice long arm, and look at that moving hand. Heel should stay down if possible, and then switch, other elbow into the knee, rotate. Movement's coming from the mid-spine here, and then stretch out the hamstrings again. Stretch out, look back, exhale, neck is loose, pull it down, keep going. We're gonna do a total of five more of these. This is three. Make sure to breathe. It's an important part of the warm up. One more. And if you wish, you can bring your hands to a prayer position, push the elbows into the knees, really sink the hips down, spine is long, and you can kind of wiggle back and forth just to get into those hips a little bit more. Maybe I'm rocking through the ankles. All right, go ahead and stand up. Now I'm gonna take out one of my props here because the video is actually a little bit too tall and I can. So forgive me guys, this is the reality of filming videos at home. And I'd rather you guys get a good view than me for, to pretend like that was working out. There we go. Okay. Oop, a little bit crooked. All right. So before you get any cooler, there we go. Find a seat. If you have a desk chair, you're welcome to use it. If not, you can sit on the ground or if you're like me, you can use the ottoman. So take a seat. You want to make sure that your ribs are over your hips. So by, what I mean by that is you don't want to be popping out and doing this big arch here. Instead, bring the ribs down over the hips. Nice long spine, okay? 
You're gonna do what I call open and close the book. So one hand's gonna go on the opposite knee. So in this case, I have my left hand, I'm gonna go on the right knee, okay? Straight arm, nice long spine. Other hand, right hand behind my head, bend the elbow, and you're gonna cross it over to the left side of the body. I follow along. Exhale, open up all the way. Inhale, close the book. Exhale, open the book. Again, use the leverage of the hand into the knee. Inhale. Exhale, that's four. We're gonna go for 10 on each side. Stay tall, rotating through the entire spine, but keeping that twist around the navel or higher. I'm gonna be totally honest, I lost count. <laughs> that happens a lot when I'm instructing, going along with it just instead of just counting. All right, switch sides. So right hand on the left knee, straight arm, nice tall spine. Again, make sure those ribs are not popping forward, the right over the hips, and then left hand behind the head, elbows bent. Cross that left elbow across the body towards that right knee, and exhale, open up. Inhale, come in. Exhale, open up. If you feel tight in your mid spine, that is very normal. So it's going to work on that. Try to get a little bit looser with each one, a little bit more range of motion with each one, but it takes time. Again, 10 on each side. All right, done with your chair, get on up, move it out of the way. Or if you wish, you can actually keep it close by to you. Just a little bit of help. All right, now we're gonna do a dynamic lunge to instep with a reach. So you're gonna come down into a plank position, plank or push-up position, what you wanna think of. You're gonna bring that, that prop up down a little bit more. Bring your right foot out wide next to your right palm, plant it. If you need to, it's okay, grab your ankle, then drag it up, totally fine. Plant the left palm, reach that right hand up and then come back down back to a plank position left foot out wide next to the left palm again drag it if you need to but get it up high push the right hand reach up towards the ceiling exhale come back to plank and keep going back and forth again i'm gonna bring this thing down just learning as we go so keep going with that one i'll show you again I need all this height, but I don't. I'm on the ground a lot. All right, so going for a total of five. Push up, big lunge, sink the hips down, push up the palm, reach, look up. Back up to plank. Modify as you need. Don't bring my neck knee down for this to get my toe. Lunge out wide, push the palm, reach up. So if the tall variation, the plank variation is hard for you, Go to the kneeling variation that I'm doing right now. Total of five. All right, finish off with 15 seconds of cardio of your choice. This could be running in place, this could be high knees, uh, uh, heel, heels kicking to the butt, jumping jacks. Uh, I'm actually just gonna do a walking in place because again, jumping is not a great idea for me right now with my toe. So just walk in place. It's still getting the blood flowing. It's getting the body primed for movement. It's getting your mind ready for the movement. And it's getting the heart rate up. That's all we're really looking for in the, in the warm up. It's about 15 seconds. Hey, feel free to march in place too if you don't feel good doing the other ones. It's working for me. All right. Hopefully you have some water and maybe a towel nearby. That's literally all you're gonna need today. You don't need any equipment. Again, share is optional. Otherwise, you don't need anything. All right. And since I've had this broken toe for the past month, I've not been working out, so <laughs> I need this just as much as anybody else does. I'm gonna be feeling it too. All right, let's get into the workout now. We're gonna do three rounds of the following. Uh, you're gonna go as fast as you can with good technique. You never want form to break down for the sake of speed. It's uh, it's not gonna be worth it, trust me. 
Um, but you do want to minimize rest breaks as much as you can while staying safe. So we're gonna kind of just go through it today. Uh, the idea of being done quickly. All right, we're gonna start with a squat jump or an air squat. Again, modify to your needs and your fitness level. You can take a squat stance with your feet. Again, usually about shoulder distance apart with the toes turned slightly out. However, everybody's is different. Some are more narrow with the feet straight ahead. Some are wider. Find what works for you. The idea is to keep the heels on the ground, your spine long. You wanna get your hips as low as you can, basically below the uh, top of the knees. And you want your knees to track over your toes. If you're doing those things, you're good. All right, so squat jump, pull the hips down, bring your arms up, and then explode up, land softly. 10. Or air squats, stand up, squat down, stand up, squeeze glutes. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right. Push-ups are next. Um, if you need to do kneeling push-ups, that's totally fine. However, in general, I recommend modifying, uh, sorry, elevating in order to modify. That's my dog, Sophie. Um, so in this case, I'm gonna use my ottoman. You can use a sturdy chair. You can use a desk, a desk is great. Um, table, whatever you might have. Or if you're feeling strong, do them from the ground. The main thing is keep a long line of your body moving together. You don't want anything sagging or wiggling or anything like that. All right, so bring along the line here. Abs tight, glutes tight, quads tight. Bring your chest all the way down. Elbows stay close to the ribs. Push all the way up. 10. Exhale, as you push up, it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, pulsing split squat. So a split squat is basically a lunge. You're gonna get to a lunge stance. If you want, a table nearby can help. Oh yeah, it's getting funny. All right, so lunge stance. So you wanna have your front knee about bent about 90 degrees or so. Other knee is relatively below the hip. It could be a little further back, but not too much. Hands on the hips, you have help here with the table. Make sure that your ribs are over your hips, so not this way, all right? Bring the knee down and then almost all the way up. Not quite up, like 80% maybe. And you're just gonna go back and down, up and down for 10 reps. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Then all the way up. So you're never getting a true rest break during the set. You're always under tension. Switch sides. And if you need to modify again, do so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and up. All right, we're finished off with some sprawls. A sprawl is like a burpee, but not as bad. All right, so you do need some space here. Bring your hands down towards the ground. You can jump or step back into a tall plank position. I'm gonna step against my toe, but feel free to jump if you're feeling, feeling good. So palms back, step back, step forward, Stand up all the way, hips up and up. And repeat, 10. That's two. All the way back. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Woo! All right, grab some water. We're not gonna stay here long before we get back into that same thing. So that's one round. We got two more rounds to go. All right, back to our squats. Again, squat jump is the um, the prescribed exercise, if you will. I'm gonna do air squats though, because my toe ain't liking the jumps. So bring your hips down to that squat, squeeze the glutes to stand. Three. Five. Seven. Eight. 
10. Remember to keep range of motion there. Don't shortchange yourself. You want to make sure you open up all the way in that squat. All right, push-ups. Again, elevate as needed. Chest all the way down. Don't let those elbows flare out too much. Use your breath. Inhale here. Exhale. This is eight. Nine. Ten. Woo, I always got stretched out after a few push-ups. Feels good. All right, pulsing split squat, split squat. Again, my toe is not liking the squat of the split squat too much, so I'm gonna do one side. We'll see how the other side feels. You guys do both sides. So get some length and some width in your feet. If you find you're too wobbly, you might need to widen your, your stance a little, just a little bit. So knee down and then almost all the way up. Not all the way. Hands near the hips, on the head. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then all the way up. Whew. Switch sides. One, two. Yeah, my turn's not like it. You guys keep going. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You guys should be going a little bit lower than I am. I'm just doing works for, for me right now, which we should all be doing. All right, sprawls. No time to waste. Again, you can jump back and jump forward or step back and step forward. Always stand. Full movements. Keep your technique strong. Three. sweaty, pretty out of breath, my heart's going, it's working, which I should be, be clear, that's actually not a sign of a good workout, it is however a good sign of a good cardio workout, which is what we're doing right now, good conditioning workout, equally important though, staying safe, moving well, and doing what works for my body, okay, yes, always, all right, here we go, third round, squat jumps or air squats, and if you happen to have a weight with you guys, feel free to load it up. Put it in the goblet position. Hold it by your sides, at your shoulders. Three, four, seven. From the side, you can see squats. Eight, nine, ten. All right, push-ups. If you need more rest, take more rest. You can pause it if you're doing the replay, or just catch up. You kind of understand what we're doing now. I can adjust your reps even. Like if you find that you can only do eight strong push-ups, just do eight. It's cool. Better eight strong ones than ten. They're not great form. All right, here we go. Eight. Nine. Pulsing split squat, here we go. Make sure your hips are facing the same direction. You may have your hips kind of wanting to open, open up to the side. Whoop, turn them like flashlights forward. Sorry, not, not flashlights, headlights. All right, down almost all the way up, but not quite. Stay in your tension. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. Again, this is my not great side, guys. You go deeper than I am. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and up. Whew. Quick breather. Last one. Can you believe it? You're almost done with the full workout. All right, sprawls. Jumping optional. Oops, there we go.
five. Nine. And ten. You are done. I'm done. Whew, that felt good. Of course, if you had more time and you're feeling it, do a couple more rounds. Whoa. <laughs> I'd say four or five rounds, honestly, is perfect if you have plenty of time on your hands. Three rounds is great though. It's again highly effective, highly doable. Again, consistency is honestly the most important factor, bar none, across the board when it comes to fitness. So if it means you'll do it, if it's three rounds in 10 minutes, that is a perfect workout. It's perfect for you. All right, whew. So I'm be doing these live workouts um, once a week, more or less, more, or, or one, uh, throughout November. Uh, I'll be posting them in advance. They will always be minimal equipment. Every once in a while, I might need something like a band or, you know, something like that. But otherwise, something like this. Um, I'm also gonna, gonna continue to do the FAQs, uh, FB Lives. So if you guys have any kind of fitness or nutrition or lifestyle questions, always send them to me. So, all right, time for a shower and a snack. All right, hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day. There we go, there it is.